John Taffer is back for season nine of Bar Rescue on Prairie Mountain Network. John, thank you so much for your time today. Good to see you, Rudy. You, you too. I mean, I've been a fan since season number one with the Abbey Pub here in Chicago, one of the very first episodes, and been following the journey all along. At Abbey Pub, I think, was the fourth episode we ever did in Chicago. Great historic venue, which caught on fire years later, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, so, so, so they had, uh, I believe that might have taken them down a few years later. It, it was, but it was it was such a, a fascinating episode, especially the way to kick it off, because there's so many reasons why bars fail, why they're not successful. You know, what's kind of the theme that we're going to see in this uh, ninth season? Well, you know, it's interesting. Every failing business is a failing owner, right, Rudy? Yeah. So I can build them the Taj Mahal. If I don't fix them, they're still going to fail. So this is a tough season. You know, the pandemic is over. The economic climate isn't so bad now. There's no more excuses. It's time to go to work and make money. When you're 50 years old and you live in your parents' house in your basement and you burned all their retirement money and they're about to lose their house too, you already lost yours, and now I'm dropped in and I have four days to change their lives, really, not just their bar, change their lives. That's a big responsibility, buddy, so it's intense. You're gonna see me tear up a few times this season. It's extremely emotional. People are in trouble. A lot of them are in debt from the pandemic still. You know, they haven't dug themselves out of that financial hole, so the debt is taking them down, and many of them are just uninspired. They've been through heck, so a little stiff kick, if you know what I mean, and a little confrontation is what they need to get back on track, and they're going to get it. <laughs> you know, what? what is, I'm sure they're all both difficult in their own type of way, but is it someone who's set in their ways or someone who wants to do something in a, in a way that's completely unrealistic or someone who doesn't really have their heart, you know, in a business that could have an extremely, you know, profitable potential? You know, I think it's a little bit of all of that, actually. You know, in some cases, the f idea was wrong in the first place. Like one of my episodes was about a, a bar filled with children's games, and it was decorated like a nursing, like a uh, like a daycare center. So obviously, that's not going to work. So some of them are wrong from conception. Some of them actually are pretty good ideas, and the bars aren't so bad, but the way they're running it is awful. And that comes down to the owner. Why is he failing? Is he ignorant? Is he lazy? He or she? Ignorant? Lazy? Do they not care anymore? Have they lost their motivation? I got to figure out what it is and attack that because I got four days to change their lives for them. And I take that very seriously, Rudy. So I go at him pretty hard, especially this season. So to answer your question, I think it's the most intense season we've ever had. Intense being tension and emotion. Because it's not just you know in the bar setting, but it could be in any type of job. You know, I think when you have a micromanager or someone who is so far removed from what the daily responsibilities or the potential of particular employees, that's just, you know, a recipe for disaster. Uh, absolutely. And when you have an employer who, who your success is not important to them, that becomes a big issue. You see, if you work for your employee's success, you can't help but be successful on your own. And I find in a bar business and pretty much any business, if individually I can get them performing collectively, they can't fail. As far as, you know, maybe someone who can't, you know, apply for the show or, you know, or can't be on it, but wants to take some advice, you know, from you, especially post-pandemic, what's something that anybody can do, whether in the Chicago region or, you know, anywhere, as far as, you know, kind of getting up to par where they should be? Yeah, you know, the bar business is what I call connective. You got to connect with people. You got to connect with your market. Don't play the music you like. Play the music they like. Understand what their favorite foods are. Sell them and sell them well. Find out what their favorite beers, their favorite drinks are. Make the bar the perfect place for your market, not yourself, your market. That's how you build frequency. That's how you connect with people. You got to play their music, serve their food, and their drink. If you can do that, that's where you find success. Awesome. John, thank you so much for your time today. Bar Rescue back for season number nine on Paramount Network. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And hopefully we'll see you back in the Chicagoland area you know, sometime soon. Look forward to it. Good to see you, Rudy. You too. Thank you.